Alright guys, um, so I didn't want to talk about this news for a while because I was just like, eh, it probably won't happen, I don't want to talk about anything until it's officially confirmed. But news today, as of this recording, has uh, come my way, and apparently, um, this looks like it might actually happen. We might actually get Young Justice, uh, Season 3 of Young Justice, on Netflix. Um, yeah, apparently Netflix, um, it, Young Justice, since it's been on Netflix... It's been one of the most viewed shows, and apparently uh, um, there's been a lot of up a talk from, you know, um, Greg Weissman, and even some of the voice actors saying, yeah, it could happen, it's, it's a possibility. And now it looks like something may happen because Netflix has approached uh, Peter David, one of the head writers on the show, one of my personal favorite comic book writers and writers in general, have um, Netflix approached them on the possibility of doing a uh, Young Justice third season. Now, it's unclear... If um, they've uh, if they've approached Greg Weissman as well, it's it's unclear right now if they've asked the same deal. But yeah, they've just talked to Peter David. Um, they haven't talked to Man of Action. They haven't talked to any of the other um, any parts of the animation companies. But right now, um, yeah, it's I'm just surprised they have gone to somebody to talk to um, to talk to with this uh, current situation. I think it's real. I think this is really cool. I think this is a really cool thing. Um, the fact that we are, get, you know, that now Netflix is really, um, it looks like they're taking it seriously. It, it does look like they are taking into heavy into heavy consideration of doing this show. And we all thought, no, nah, it's not going to happen. But there were, you know, with all the talk from Greg and then with um, even the voice actor for um, uh, Aqualad, aka Cor you know Carrie Payton, you know um, he said you know it's a it's a possibility, but yeah, is there something going on that we don't know about? Now, obviously, you know this isn't the first time we've had shows resurrected, but I think this is a show like a Greg Weissman show that, if possible, maybe this could last past two seasons. And I know what you're gonna say. Well, what about Goliath Chronicles? We don't talk about the Goliath Chronicles. Anyway, <laughs> anywho, so. I think this is really cool. Obviously, it, it did leave, leave on, you know, on a big cliffhanger for season two, a big oh my god moment. But at the same time, I think this is a strong, you know, at the same time, I'm really excited to see this finally come to fruition of seeing, you know, the new gods as well as... We did see some of the new gods in, in the show, some of the minor new gods, but then seeing Darkseid at the end... And, yeah, that we still don't know the Light's full plan. We do know that Vandal Savage is clearly working with um, Darkseid, but we don't know what... We don't. We still don't know what was the big endgame here. And it's also unclear if it's just... If they just... If they do decide to do this series, if they do decide to come out with this... Um, with this series, it's still unclear if it's just for the one season or if they decide to do... Uh, more than one season, because right now, here's what I think might happen. I think Netflix might test the waters if, a keyword, if they decide to do this, if they decide to do this, here's what I think might happen. What probably might happen is that they decide to do a season. They do one season just to see how it goes, and if it does well, then they'll decide, if, you know, if the story's not wrapped up from there, um, then they'll decide to do possibly more episodes from that show, you know, for the show. But right now, you know, depending on if, you know, Greg Weissman or whoever they get to run the show now, um, I would really love to see them go to Greg Weissman. Uh, so again, all they've done is contact Peter David. Um, Greg Weissman has talked about, you know, I think he says that, you know, he thinks Netflix would be a good place to have Young Justice. He could have a little more creative range from there. And, I, and that would be fine. I don't think, I think with Netflix, the only person he would really have to do deal with is the next Netflix people. And of course, Warner brothers who we don't know if they've got, if Netflix has gone to Warner brothers, um, and talk to them about it. And right now Warner brothers could, you know, Warner brothers do the smart thing here. Say yes. Don't look like an idiot here. I know, you know, you, I know you want to really push Justice League action, and I am excited for that. Don't get me wrong, but come on, you made a big no-no with doing this, and you, and right now, after Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman, you kind of need help. You need help right now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, it, I think as long as you get Greg Weissman back and he can at least finish the story he wanted to tell, 
I think that would be, you know, totally awesome. Uh, depending on if he decides to go more than a third season. Um, but yeah, it's also interesting because... Yeah, it did leave off with Wally being killed off, but then a lot of people have said, you know, is he part of the Speed Force? And Greg Weissman's kind of left... He said initially that Wally was dead, but apparently, and I don't know how much of this is true, but it's possible, that, you know, there's been other uh, other interviews, apparently, where he said, oh, he kind of left it up in the air, and yeah, we don't know if Wally's part of the Speed Force or something of that degree, but yeah... I'm. In, I would really love to see a world without Wally. Uh, you know, I'm wondering. I, as much as I love, a, a, you know, Wally West, I'm curious to see how the rest of the team moved on without having Wally there. And we go, and we have the new Kid Flash that is uh, Bart Allen. So I am. I'm very excited to see this. I'm wondering what other new characters you can introduce. You could bring it. You know, you can still bring in Starfire. You can still. You know, you can still have. Um, uh, there's still, like, Raven, you know... There's so many other characters, and I'm wondering, could we bring in the, t you know, the other Titans? We, I just, I don't think we had Cyborg yet in this universe. If I remember right, I don't think we had Cyborg yet in this universe. And I think that would be cool, is that the Young Justice team kind of splits up, and we see the Teen Titans be formed. Well, this universe is Teen Titans, if at all possible. Anyway, um... And yeah, I'd love to see other, you know, I'd love to see more of Rose Wilson. I'd love to see more of her... I'd love to see more of... Uh, there's so many characters I would love to see make an appearance in this in this uh, possibility. But again, I'm just kind of really entertaining the fact because, again, I didn't think anything would happen, but now with this whole thing of Netflix contacting Peter David and approaching him, it's like, oh my god, it could actually happen. All we need to do is, is get Netflix to seal the deal and... We're, you know, we're in like Flynn. That's really all we're kind of waiting for at this point um, with this show. Um, and I'd love to see it. I would love to see it finally get a third season. And at least, you know, if they if they only just are able to get one season, at least do all the episodes, just wrap up the story. Come on. That's all I ask. And, you know, I'd love to see more seasons, but if we can only get one season, at least, you know, have it be a wrap-up story. Anyway. So, of course... Um, I'm, of course, excited for this. Um, I, <laughs> I've been ranting about this for so long. And, yeah, I didn't want to talk... Like I said, I didn't want to talk about it this earlier when the, you know, reports were coming in of, like... It was just all hearsay. It was all hearsay and what these, and what these actors think or what the creators think or what the writers think. Nothing was ever official. Nothing was ever official. But now, with this thing with Peter David and uh, Netflix, it's like... Wow, I would not be surprised if we got an official confirmation or denial in the next week or so. Sometime we're gonna I'm pretty sure we're gonna get like an official announcement of some kind, whether to confirm or deny it sometime in the near future. That's what I'm that's what I'm kind of thinking right now is that that's what's going to happen. We're gonna get like some official confirmation in the week in the coming weeks. I would maybe as late as early September. That's when we'll probably get the official confirmation at some point. But some, I imagine, sometime in the in the week, in the upcoming weeks, we'll hear more about it. So yeah, um, you guys tell me what do you guys think of the possibility of Young Justice finally getting a third season? Are you guys excited? Or are you guys not? Um, do you want to see, of course, Greg Weissman come back? Um, yeah, that's kind of the only thing I ask. Is you got Peter David? Just get Greg Weissman. Um, so, you know, <laughs> he can, you know, he can finally finish this story. You know, that thing he's been able to do with a majority of, you know, Spider, you know, he wasn't able to finish Spectacular Spider-Man. He was kind of able to finish Gar Gargoyles, you know, thanks to the Slave Labor graphic comics, and now he's doing more stuff with it in terms of novels apparently. So, yeah, um you just get Greg Weissman and I, and uh, the voice actors back and I'll be totally fine with it. But yeah, once again, uh, just comment below, let me know what you guys think, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.